Is there a possibility to maintain a relationship with the parents or grandparents when I have blocked him? Depends if they are flying monkeys and toxic. If they are, then you need to block them as well. My friend confronted them and he said he doesn't care, but he constantly does the same thing. Yeah. That shows that shows you the level that he doesn't care that he's actually telling other people. If he didn't contact me for two years, does it mean I am healed? No, not necessarily. Like if he didn't contact you, that has nothing to do with your healing. Like if he didn't reach out, that doesn't like you could be still the same person who hasn't healed at all. And as soon as he reaches out, you'll be right back in it. This is why it's your choice. What decision will you make today? Will you make a decision to actually start your healing? You're like, well, I'm not sure if I want to learn from a narcissist. Okay, that's fine. There's tons of other people out there. You don't have to work with me. But if you do want to understand what we do, and if it does seem like it'd be a good fit, go to the link in the bio, escapetoxicity.com. You can walk through. I teach you about aspects of narcissism. I teach you about the guilt, the rumination, the things that are actually happening, reactive abuse. So you can start to understand how we teach it and get the formula for understanding how to actually break free, how to actually move forward in your healing process. Mine always blocks me after there's a fight uh, that he starts. Why is this? It's control. Like, how long do you want to keep having the fights before there's actually an end to them? Otherwise, it's going to keep going over and over and over. Yes, I am a narcissist. Self-aware narcissists on this channel provide awareness, growth, healing, change, and development. We do that in all our different courses. We're going one-on-one with people inside of our Thriver community to help people maximize who they actually are called to be and to be able to shed everything that's happened from the narcissist relationship, the trauma bond, the rumination, the intrusive thoughts, to be able to get free. Do you feel narcissists attach themselves to the concept of polyamory as a way to cheat with less guilt? There's a piece of that, but it typically doesn't work. Like you'll find people in polyamorous relationships that still cheat in the polyamorous relationship. You're like, how does that even make sense? It does because of like the rules and something they set up. They're like, hey, we can do this together if we do this. And then they still do something on the side. I've seen it a million times. Okay. Um, why is it that his validation to me is so important for me? I wasn't like this before. And like, none of this, whether like that's the trauma bond. Okay, that's the piece where you're looking for the validation from that other person. And we have to be able to help you rewire that. Like, reach out. We'd love to be able to help you because we have the courses that will actually help you break free from that. Because it goes back to the story you're telling yourself. How do you feel about touching on impending danger? My experience when the perceived a threat, whatever that may be, very likely and narcissistic rage. Uh, I, I see your comment. I'm just trying to figure out, like, what? Well, there's not a question there. How do I feel about it? Um, touching, touching on the aspect of like impending danger. Uh, a lot of times in the narcissist, it might not be impen- impending danger, but impending danger in the aspect of like impending, like shame. Okay. Um, how do you know if the narcissist is truly ready to change? How is he on showing honesty and accountability? Like, what are you actually seeing come from him in wanting that change? Like not from you, but like him. Like, how is he actually moving that forward? Narcissists will never evaluate it because their power stems from evaluating me, 100%. Why do narcissist people say threatening things and cheat and then say they're going to trap you? Uh, there's a lot of different reasons why they say it, but at the end of the day, they're doing everything to be able to control you, be able to have the cake and eat it too. Why do narcissists take sneaky photos of you and their family? Uh, there's, there's not one consistent answer to that. I haven't seen a consistent answer to that. My ex blocked me since he moved in with new supply. He has known and worked for over five years. He goes to me after he moved and is kind of hiding. They don't use social media. Why? Could be the different perception on that on that person. Like they might need to, he might need to appear different for that specific person. Okay. Like like there is triggers for you. There might be different triggers for that person. So let's love bomb. Let's conform in this way. Just because you don't see it doesn't mean it's not there. Is it possible a narcissist blocks you off on all social media, hides new girl instead of showing off? Hundred percent. We see that as well. A lot of times if they've told you that they've never cheated, but they have, but you know they have, you've even seen it, and then they go with someone else, and you're like, but I know they've cheated, they'll never admit it because it's incongruent with themselves. They've already put that out there. A lot of times it's why even if they take a stance on a lie or something they know is not true, they won't back down because they've already did that, and if they back down, then they'd be incongruent with themselves. My ex literally run right past me when we ran into each other. Is that a Hoover? Uh... Don't know if it would necessarily be a Hoover unless he's wanting you to reach out. The future fix promises me uh, eventually end up begging for the things that he promised me. Isn't it crazy since he suggested to do these things in the first place? Yeah, 100%. Promise is like it's keeping you in this loop. Like it's keeping you in this loop over and over and over again. 
I had to go narco monarchy fought me on co- uh, COVID uh, lockdown. I beat his ass and told the police I'm the attacker. Interesting. Uh, the physical violence that is inevitable when they feel threatened. Is that just a certain type of narcissism? Um, no, not necessarily. Uh, you could see it probably more prominent in malignant narcissists or ones with like sociopathic tendencies. Okay. In connection with ASD and NPD. Mm, I don't know if I have enough info right now to be able to give that. If gray rocking doesn't work long term, then what does? Can't go no contact. Why can't you go no contact? Like, why can't you go no contact? When the narc keeps the door open, doesn't block, is it because they miss their ex? No, they don't care about their ex. They showed that by leaving you the first time. Even if I'm happily married, does it mean I'm healed with my ex relationship and healed? No, it doesn't mean that. Like, like, what are you viewing as being healed? Because being healed is not dependent on everybody else. Being healed is dependent on you, the triggers and the things that are happening. Do you actually, how, like, how you actually deal with the triggers now on a day-to-day basis? It's just a family member that I have to deal with. You can go no contact with a family member. There's nothing that says you have to stay in contact with anybody. The only time you, like, have to on some level is if you share kids. And even then, you can go third party. Yes, NPD is based on trauma. Different levels, different types of it. I wouldn't just put trauma as a blanket statement, but yes. I was telling him that I needed through uh, what I needed through this betrayal, and he said I'm abusing him. Yeah, because you're trying to control him in his mindset. He's going to twist it back around on you. Dealing with the covert narcissist, unfortunately, we share a child. Any advice? Yeah, using the BIF method, brief, informative, friendly, and firm, and then also going into using a, a parenting app for all communication. All communication has to go through there or using a third party as far as like using another person. So third party would be having like another individual that takes care of like the text messages, takes care of the communication. We've got a lot of people that do that. Same thing with drop offs. Like you drop off, pick up drop off at another location. So at the school, or we've got a couple people that do at a police station or that have like a babysitter that's there when they drop off. So they don't have to see each other. Do narcissists repeat the same cycle, idealize, devalue, discard for every partner, or uh, if they're not self-aware and working themselves? Typically, uh, sometimes it'll be a little bit different. You'll see sometimes the pattern be a little bit different, especially if it's transitional supply. Does narcissists respect you if you leave them? No, not necessarily. Typically, they know they're going to get you back anyways. Do you uh, do they always reach out after you break up, or do they move on to the next victim? Answer is yes. Be prepared for them to come back. Like, there's not, like, I can't say one way or another. Like, do they always reach out? Typically. And then they always also move on. So like they move on and they reach out. Can you become a narcissistic person by dating one? No, it doesn't, it doesn't work out that way. Uh, you can get narcissistic fleas and have like different tendencies um, that look abusive, but it's not necessarily meaning that you're going to be a narcissist at all. Okay. 